So in today's video, we're going to talk, well, I'm going to answer a question. Herman does BJJ, has a lot of injuries and would like to take up judo and wanted to know if it would be rude to sit out during randori. Short answer, no, it would not be rude. But I would suggest if you do take up judo and you, you show up at a club, then you talk to the, to the head coach and you explain your situation and what you want to do. And from there, he'll be perfectly fine like that. With that, you, you'll be able to learn judo, do all the, the rolling, the techniques, the uchikomis, the nagikomis, and then you, you, don't want, you won't have to fight. There's nothing wrong with that. You could either you know, just finish there, the class, or you could just leave. You could ask him, oh, can I leave when it's time to, for randori? Because, well, you know, it's not something that I can do, and, and maybe I'm just not you know, interested. Uh, due to you know my situation my injuries and all that and that's cool. That's fine because randori's are usually done at the end of a class anyway So towards that time you could talk to, you could uh, you could just leave But I would always suggest you to like talk to your coach beforehand like um, And explain to him that listen, uh, this is my situation. You know, I want to learn judo um, You know, I've done BJJ, but I got a lot of injuries and I can't do the randori so can I just leave when it's time to do the randories at the end or you could just or can I sit it out if you want to watch and stay there and watch I'm pretty sure the head coach will be fine with that right there's uh in judo it's uh I don't see why there would be any anything wrong with that like heck even myself like when I'm injured I just don't do the randories so I just sit there and watch or I stretch or I just you know pack up and and leave like uh that's what I do at my club it's perfectly fine and I think it'll still benefit you to learn judo, to learn all the techniques. And even if you don't care about the grading, right, uh, meaning the belts, uh, you don't have to compete. And of course, you're not interested in grading. That's okay. Uh, but you know, the grading is going to happen regardless. You know, and you you could express that to your uh, to to your coach, to your sensei too. Like, uh, you know, I don't, uh, you know, I I'm not I'm, I don't want to learn for the belts, but I want to learn judo. The thing is, even if you don't care about the gradings, that's probably going to happen. Uh, as a natural, uh, they're gonna give you the belts regardless, I feel, right? Because if you've mastered a certain uh, set of techniques, it's good for you to validate it for your current uh, knowledge and skill level at that point. You know, I mean, and it's, it's, it's a good thing that you don't want to, but it is important, in my opinion, to actually understand, like know the names of the techniques that you're actually doing. That way you could have a better conversation with uh, other judokas when it comes to technique and all that. And that's something that I realized since I've been studying uh, nomenclature and reviewing all the techniques from, uh, from, from, from the beginning up until now, I'm a brown belt. There's a lot of things that uh, I didn't pay enough attention to, but I, I wanna pay, I'm paying attention to them now because when I go for my black belt exam, they're gonna, I'm gonna need to know all this. So I'm like, ah, well, since we're in uh, lockdown anyway, so I'm, I'm studying this now. And it's really interesting because when you know the names of the techniques after that, it allows you to have better conversation, but also at the same time, for me anyway, I have a deeper understanding of the techniques because I, not only do I, um, uh, do I, do I look at the names, but then I, I, you know, like I make sure that I'm doing them. I understand how to do them the classical way. So it's, it's about studying judo, even if you don't care about belts, but you should still, uh, study judo properly. Judo is for everybody and it's still going to, uh, you're still going to benefit a lot from it. There's still a lot of things, uh, um, you know, in terms of um, a fitness, uh, for fun, agility, timing, speed, coordination, you know, and uh, yeah, it just looks cool, man. That's it. I hope that answers your questions. So guys, if you have any other questions, leave it down below, comment. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any kind of funny stories or experiences regarding that, you know, then uh, yeah, put them down below, man. All right, peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.